praise be Jesus and Mary. And now and forever. Today's first reading, St. Paul is on his first missionary journey, and he is bearing witness to the people, proclaiming the good news of the Lord, and he's preaching in the synagogue of Antioch and Pisidia, that's modern-day Turkey, and so he's proclaiming the word to Jews, and he's citing the second psalm. This is today's responsorial psalm. And it has this familiar verse to us, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Now there's three meanings, actually, to this verse. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. This, these are the words of the Eternal Father. First, in reference to the eternal generation of the Son of God, right? The second person of the Blessed Trinity, the Word, eternal Word of the Father. So this day I have begotten you, meaning uh, this day in eternity. Okay, God the Father eternally generating the Son. The second meaning of it refers to uh, the temporal generation of the human nature, okay? And this is when, by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, the Son was begotten in the womb of the Virgin Mary. So the incarnation, okay, that's the second. And this day, meaning the day of the Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then the third meaning, which is really what St. Paul is getting at here, refers to Easter Day, the day of the resurrection, which scripture refers to the resurrection in various places as a regeneration, right? Uh, our Lord uh, is called the um, firstborn of the dead, right? Firstborn, this begetting. And so Easter Day is that third begetting. This day I have begotten you. And again, that is really the point that St. Paul is getting at because he wants to bring these people to faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is the only way to go to the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.